What's up everybody? It's me James again with another video and it's been a minute since I made one. I've been real busy. I got some um, knives here that I had in inventory that uh, I don't think I made a video or really gave much credit or recognition to. But I think they're really cool and I got a few of them here. So let's get straight to it. The Otter Messer. Okay. I looked at a couple videos. Shout out to uh, Patty's Potato Peelers. Um, in Europe, they come in boxes. I noticed here they don't. They're coming these little hang tag things. Um, so I seen a couple of videos and I'm like, you know what? They're not as expensive as Boker knives, but uh, they're like a premium. They're made in um, Soligen, Germany. And they're, they're, they have a stainless and a carbon steel option. And of course, knowing all you fellas, knife slip joint guys out there, um, you guys like carbon. So the packaging, nothing to go great you know get excited about but you know you got us a uh, little hang tag thing now here it is so these knives are uh the lesser expensive of this company i sent a message to the company asking um how could i get more knives because they do have higher end knives i don't know if you guys would be interested in that i did a poll on instagram uh lately that asked uh what do you guys think uh usa or german made and um everybody almost everybody said usa and it's obvious you know most of you guys are in the usa uh like i am as well and um nothing's you know there's a lot of pride in having a knife made at home you know so but we're trying to get a little bit better quality um a little bit more diversity when it comes to these slip joint knives in america you got case GEC and that's kind of it nowadays um, so it's I mean there is other companies in America that make slip joint knives but they're I mean uh, who are they um, not I, we we do have uh, Baron Sons which you know their quality is eh, you know um, really not much different than case to be honest uh, but so anyway I figured I you guys want quality I'm trying to get quality so here it is this is the anchor knife. Now, this is the smaller anchor knife, and I want to show you a larger one. I've sold one of these, and um, they said, does it come with the, the lanyard? And unfortunately, it didn't, like this one does not, but I, I got one with one recently, and here it is, the lanyard. So, they are available on the website, and um, uh, so let's talk about them. Carbon steel, they, the, the blades actually kind of remind me all right, don't get excited, but I'm saying like they kind of remind me of uh, open L knives. Um, how they, they just look like they'd be easy to sharpen. So they just, I don't know how to describe it. Just by feeling it, they feel very, very sharp, very easy to sharpen like an open L would be. So they're made in Germany. And what really kind of made me um, be interested in these knives is uh, there was a video from the company where they're showing these being made by hand and it, it reminded me of like uh G gec and um you know there's uh you got boker and and other places that do that as well but um you know this is i've always been a fan of like queen for example as i always felt they were the underdog and um so i guess relative to uh boker um this would be like the queen over there shat morganish so but less expensive than Boker's. I mean, Boker's were talking 70 and up. Um, these are, I think, like 65 and under. <clears throat> but yeah, look, look at the centering on these. It's like it's like they actually care, you know. Um, awesome inlaid anchor shield. They are sheep's foot blades. This one's got a great snap to it. Some of them I notice are very hard to open. They are very, very tight, which if you're looking for a user, this is going to be it. They are flush usually, um, not like open, but like when closed. And uh, I don't see many gaps. There is some in here that did have um, some kind of gap, but not like a gap we've seen on case knives. I don't really know how to describe it. Let me see if I can find one here. How about this one? This one is, uh, these are the smoked ash, or no, ash, ash oak, smoked oak. I don't remember. It's on the website. It's a lighter color one. This is the Grenadil. Um, I think this would call it 
Grenadil? Yeah. It's like African blackwood or something. It's what Germans call it. Anyway, this one has the brass uh, anchor. These have the steel anchor. But, um, like, let's see. Look at this one. Get the idea. It's a work knife, you know? It's not perfect, but, man, it's a lot better than what we've seen, you know, you know, some quality issues with some other manufacturers. Um, I mean, these knives, they really care. Is that a rivet in there? Yeah, it's a rivet. It's not taken all the way out. But it's not touching. No, not even close. But yeah, these are really smooth. This one's really nice. I like this one. Uh, this one does not have the lanyard, unfortunately. I don't even use the nail nick on these things. Look at that. This one's super thick. Check it out compared to the um, the uh, smaller one. I just love these things. You can see size comparison. Super nice, super nice. And I really, I really think if you got one of these in your hand, you would really appreciate what I'm talking about um, regarding their quality. I'm trying not to get unorganized here with these cases because I don't really know how to. I'd have to look up the item numbers or something. I'm trying not to get them too confused but so how will we do this there we go somebody asked where i got these at um i got them from the distributor i don't know how somebody else could get them i would maybe check out maybe ebay would sell them um just do a search they're called uh isles isles oh, something like that you can google it and they'll correct you <laughs> how's that this is the three rivet knife um with the oak smoked oak or ash oak something like that this one has some very fancy bolsters they're all kind of like traditional old style now this one this one's a little bit stiff it opens up fine but it's stiff i mean we're nothing nothing's going to move this knife though that's a cool part about it such a i mean these things are stout amazing work knife so i mean if you got one of these i kind of like imagine them as like a really fancy sod buster except with better fit and finish than your average case sod buster in fact they make sod busters i just can't really get them um they have a lot of really cool knives i seen like you know barlow's bone handled I, I don't seem to be able to get them um but they're so they're so nice and i don't i've never heard of them before um before let's see how did i find out oh yeah patty's potato peelers i'm like wow can i get these and i could get these so this is the three rivet knife and like i said these things are like workers knives but you're not going to feel bad beating up on it at the same time you got something equivalent to mm, boker gec a little i honestly for the money this is equal to or better than a case um my opinion so you know it varies see i got one more i don't have many of these haven't really sales have been slow also so i like this one i like the size of these the smaller ones you can see it compared to here so do have two with lanyards three without all available on the uh slipjointguy.com i just love them and they're nice they're so nice and they're they're not they're not going to break the bank like a GEC, and the fit and finish on them are pretty dang good. I mean, really dang good. Look at this. It's like, look, well, minus the hair, but it's pretty flush. Really nice. This one's really stiff. But like I said, it, you know, your collector shouldn't matter and if you're going to use it you want it to be stiff you want it so that you can use abuse it and not have to worry about it it's not a nail breaker i've opened it heck i didn't even use the the nail nick for it you know you can pull it open without even doing that but i'm telling you i think this is an underrated knife um especially in america y'all in europe you probably see these every day nothing special you're still looking at case gec and things like that but for somebody i mean you know in the united states like Wow, this is really cool. I never knew this was available. And like I said, they have a lot of different knives that I'd like to get a hold of. You can check out their website, um, ottermesser.com or .de, I think, something like that. Um, just Google it. Their website, they have like 
beautiful knives. They got these like um, little little Barlows that are um, oh, what bees. They call it the Bee Master, and it's so beautiful. I love to get those. Um, they come in like plum wood, um, plum, and let's see what was the other wood that I really liked. Pear, plum and pear, pear wood, and um, it's just they're super nice. Check them out on Instagram also, um, Otter Messer. So this is it. I don't want to go too long. We're at 10 minutes. I'm trying not to make these videos crazy long anymore. Um, also, I got these two. I don't. I, I figured if you buy a knife and you want to add this, um, watching but uh, Patty's potato peelers, they come with these ballastol things in Europe. At least his did. Uh, so I went ahead and bought these. So if you wanted to add one to the knife or any knife for that matter, they're like a dollar twenty-five. I'll throw it in there with the shipping but they just can't be international. But I don't think anybody in Europe is really gonna want one of these because, you know, they're already available there. They're kind of a not a rarity there, they're a rarity here. So, um, yeah, we will use this. I'll make, make a review of that sometime. So, check them out, slipjointguy.com, and check out the uh, Slip Joint Guy on Instagram. Um, it's been good, it's, I've been really busy lately, so, you know, that's work, you know, so just love it. You want to look at us some more? I don't want to kill you guys with the, the long videos. Not that anybody's complaining. I just don't want to, you know, there's no need if it doesn't have to. I just think these things are underrated. I really do. I really like them. I hope you like them too. And they're available. They're fairly reasonably priced and, you know, free shipping in the USA. Check them out. All right, guys, I'll see you. Bye-bye.